Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. So it's been a while since the last Gacha video came up, and I've got a few things to announce first before we begin this episode. So some of you guys who are following me on my YouTube Facebook page will probably know that I will be taking a break from Utah Macross um, informations and videos and all that for the time being. Um, I'll probably do a video explaining why when I come back to it um, but I'm not too sure when I will do so but anyway for now I'm taking a break um, once the last gacha event for the month uh, comes around uh, that will be my last Uta Macross video for now uh, until further updates in the future so yeah um, then of course the other thing I want to announce is I will be doing a live stream today um, Technically it's about I guess um, I'm recording at this point of time it's close to 5pm in my country So it's another 6 hours away from now um, Which is basically 11pm GMT plus 8 Do join me on my live stream I will be streaming on my Twitch channel Link is in the description down below. Of course, I have already announced it on my Facebook page as well. Um, basically, it's my birthday live stream. Yes, I'm growing a year older <laughs> tomorrow on the 19th of August. And yeah, uh, do join me on the live stream. We will chit chat. We will uh, well play games together if possible. Um, then of course, I will do unboxings. Uh, if you guys are my cross friends, you definitely want to join me. Um, for the unboxing as well because I will not be making a video solely for that unboxing um, well mainly because uh, I think it's an unboxing for a pretty special occasion kind of <laughs> so yes so do join me on my twitch live stream um, tonight in another six hours time um, maybe by the time this video goes up it might be about five hours from that point of time who knows so just keep track of the world clock it's uh, 11 pm gmt plus 8 which is uh, basically singapore and hong kong's time period and of course if you're from malaysia it's the same time as singapore so all right um we have to talk about certain things about the current birthday gachas uh, that has recently come and gone you know, Mikumos is just, well, there right now because her birthday just came. And of course, Basara's birthday has passed. His gacha is no longer within the gacha page itself. So there we go, we have the image for Mikumos birthday exclusive gacha episode plate. Um, so why we need to talk about them? Mainly because, well, if you take a look at Mikumos birthday plate, alright, you can see that only Mikumo is able to use that episode plate, which is kind of a strange thing. Um, I'll show an image here of Kaname's old birthday episode plate. Her episode plate is usable by three different divas though. So, <laughs> I'm not sure why it's now becoming a trend. Even Basara's episode plate um, is also exclusive to him. He, he is the only one that can make the full use of that episode plate. So, looking at Mikumo's episode plate, which is very similar to Basara's, 3,862,000... Uh, sorry, 3,862 total score. And of course, a bit well-balanced stats all around. Center skill, units life is increased by 40% up. So, yeah. Then, life recovery for an active skill. Then of course the main important thing which is the life skill Uta Hime score repeat level 5. So at the 30 second marks for 7 seconds you gain a 100% boost in score. So score repeat as you guys all know by now it reoccurs every 30 seconds. So definitely fantastic for long duration songs maybe of course within the same series or color. Um, but yeah sadly to say it's only for Mikumo. So I don't understand why Dana has started to make birthday exclusive episode plates. Um, really very exclusive to that particular diva itself. I mean, it's nice. Um, especially for those who stand that main diva itself. Uh, Mikumo, Basara, whoever is on within the 10 divas in the list in Macross series. 
it's nice that they are focusing on the diva itself, but when it comes to the um, diva event that rotates nowadays um, for the, the game of Utah Cross, so last month we were introduced to the diva event. Basically, you have to have episode plates that really can be used by the divas that you want to improve upon. Um, if not, you're gonna have a lot of trouble you know, playing this game itself, especially if you want to rank for that event itself or, you know, to get good. <laughs> so, Mikomos doesn't come with a special note attached to it, no, neither does Basara. Basara's gacha is over, so I don't know whether these episode plates um, will come around again next year when the diva has their own birthday once again or will they introduce a brand new exclusive birthday illustration episode plate next following year uh, you know so you can still get the old one but maybe there will be a new one that you might want to obtain because it might be better than the current one that kind of situation so yeah so Dana has started to play things around a bit more selfishly when it comes to the episode plates but I have to say I really like the pre-evolved image of Mikumo's episode plate because if you look at the whole thing Mikumo is actually baking her own birthday cake <laughs> which is kind of strange but I know it's a brand new experience to the three-year-old. Well, technically she's not three-year-old anymore considering that Necros Delta came out in 2016. She's technically four years old. Um, but still, so a brand new born, you know, clone <laughs> character experiencing something that she has never done before, baking a cake. Of course, if, it, if it's her own birthday cake, I think it's a lot of fun. You can see that Makina is enjoying herself. Holy. And you don't see a lot of this kind of expression on Reina as well. You know, smiling Reina is very rare. Then of course we've got a chibi cute drawing at the corner. Gotta love this illustration. The pre-evolved image is definitely a wonderful picture that can be used by Mikumo, Reina, Makina fans as a wallpaper. So um, yeah, <laughs> fantastic stuff. So I don't have the stones to pull um, Mikumo's birthday gacha, sadly to say, financially tight. <laughs> Even though there are a lot of discounted singing stone packs thanks to the third anniversary of Uta Macross, if you guys have the income to do so, please spend within your own limits. Um, don't go overboard as well. I'm definitely keeping within my own limits. Um, I can't afford to keep purchasing singing stone packs, even though if I, I, I want to, I can't. Uh, there, there are just so many other things that I need to support as well um, Considering that there is the fan club event that's gonna happen soon I have to, you know, spend money to purchase those online tickets as well That kind of stuff So yeah, so let's move on to the main gacha Which is basically Milane's um, brand new episode plate um, Of course, the evolved image is the most hilarious Because Goblin is there then of course, if you notice the banner for this gacha, I'm not sure if you noticed it well enough. Um, it was a very smart advertising move in, on the part of Dana because Gamlin's face got blocked off. <laughs> so if you look at the banner for Milane's gacha, you can see that the guaranteed 10 bubble is blocking off Gamlin's face right there. So it's pretty hilarious when they finally showed off the full image of Milane's fully evolved episode plate. It was very hilarious. <laughs> so it's it's nice to see Gumlin getting some love of uh, being a Milane hardcore fan, you know, from her music and of course trying to be her lover at the same time. So yeah. Um so I'm gonna pull Milane's gacha only for this video can't afford to do anything else uh, hopefully you guys have been trying to pull the double gacha um, that is returned that has returned recently basically you pay 50 singing stones for a pool of two episode plates um, then of course you stand a pretty good chance of maybe getting a seven star or a six star episode plate um, or maybe even a five star episode plate you know among the selection of episode plates that they have decided to feature 
the best one of course being Freya's um, very disco-ish style costume. Um, I don't have the gacha around right now because I already pulled it, but you guys know what I'm talking about because Freya's episode plate does have a special note attached to it, so if you guys manage to pull out Freya's episode plate from the double gacha, you guys are pretty lucky. So alright, let's break down Milane's episode plate, um, 3876, very similar in terms of strength when it comes to the current tiering of episode plates, like the exclusive episode plate for Mikumo's birthday gacha. Then of course, focusing a bit more on Soul. Alright, even though this episode is blue, the main song for the current event, uh, Silver Moon Red Moon, is a pink series song. So it can be used by Min Mei, which is fantastic. Although it is a blue series song, but because of the well-balanced stat, it can be used for that song itself. So definitely um, worth, I guess, equipping onto any of the divas that you have that is usable for this plate um, during this event time period itself. So center skill, um, blue series plates, total boosted by 60% up. Once again, the current event is a pink series event. There are blue series songs within the event song list. Um, so it is technically possible to still use this uh, center skill to its full advantage. You know, as long as you keep playing blue series songs. Alright, moving along. So... Here we go, another episode played with the 70% boost in score, just for a 5 second duration. Very short, which is okay, because Silver Moon Red Moon is a very short duration song. Life skill, which is the most important one. Score damage improvement, level 5. So, another one of these episode plays that is not a must, but always good to have within your arsenal of episode plates. Especially when it comes to that series itself. So. Once again, I only recommend you to try to attain this episode plate if you are a big fan of Milane, or you don't have an episode plate that has this skill within this series itself. Um, of course, if you want to add it into your collection, definitely have to pull this gacha. But it's not a must, but once again, new costumes are always good to have. So. Even though if you don't attain this episode plate itself, as long as you have some other episode plates that feature Milane's brand new costume, I think you're pretty much good right there. So yeah, no special notes attached to the episode plate as usual because, well, Dana has not decided to break, it, bro break the barrier, you know, of um, episode plates with such skill just yet. So alright, let's do this. We're gonna pull uh, the discounted template pool. I'm gonna have to keep the rest of the singing stones around because the double gacha is still ongoing definitely want to try my luck on getting some decent episode plates from that gacha itself oh got some mediocre speed loading right there uh oh no valkyrie animations at all so yeah if you're wondering how's my luck for today um it isn't good <laughs> so that's why I'm not surprised by this pool. Um, I will be surprised if I actually get something out of that one single red box. So, oh, that I, that's what I want to see. That's good enough for me. <laughs> At least I can unlock Milane's costume in the future with um, episode ops. Oh, and get the plate evolved. Alright, the only red box. Okay, it's a very old episode plate it does belong to the macross 7 series however it is not belonging to milane's brand new costume so that's kind of a bummer but we do get episode plates with just costume points which is all good in my books so as long as they give me the option to unlock the costume with episode ops in the future that's fantastic enough for me so as usual guys thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of uta macross gacha videos sadly to say um, I will be taking a break from Ultra Macross content for a while. There are reasons to why I will explain them when I return. But that doesn't mean I will not continue making content for my YouTube channel. I still have, you know, my gaming stuff 
Um, and then of course, now I'm going towards a bit of live streaming on Twitch as well. So make sure you join me there. Links in the description as always. And of course, um, I, I do have Pokemon Cafe Mix as well. If you guys are playing the game, you can join me on you know, trying to figure out those stages um, that the, you know, the game releases uh, once certain periods you know, occur. So then of course, unlocking those event Pokemon as well. We've got Celebi that's coming along the way. So I'm pretty excited for that. I think that's the first mythical Pokemon. No, aside from Lucario and uh, yeah, I think Lucario is the only other mythical Pokemon that we actually got. Yeah, uh, aside from Celebi that's coming out soon. So yeah, okay. Um, yeah, then don't forget the birthday live stream that's gonna happen soon. Um, so yeah, I definitely will update my Facebook page once I'm planning to go live. So check it out there. Make sure you follow me on my Facebook page as well. And as usual guys, I would love to know how you guys did for your own gacha pulls, what you guys think of the episode plates, what you guys think of the birthday episode plates changing towards focusing on only one diva being able to use the episode plate itself. Let me know your thoughts as always in the comments down below. And of course, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel because well even though I may be taking a break from Utah Macross it doesn't mean I'm stopping myself from not playing or rather you know preventing myself from playing the game I'm always going to play Utah Macross uh, it's just that I'm not going to upload content about it I guess so yeah um, I'm taking a break from it it's been an enjoyable three years worth of Utah Macross I'm still enjoying the game I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining that I'm not <laughs> um, just taking a break from posting all the content it is pretty tiring and um, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time so yeah guys until I guess the next gacha video which is coming around very soon which is the last event of the month we're going back towards the high score versus event um, as posted by Dana on their official monthly update you know post um so yeah looking forward to the return of the high score event because boy is the diva event a real grind i don't wish to do that every month <laughs> it's it's really taxing on the body uh, especially when someone like me who is starting to grow a bit more um older i don't have the kind of energy <laughs> anymore to play grinding games like these so <laughs> Yeah guys, I'll see you guys very soon. Till then, bye!